Ladies, this your sound, so as soon as this come out You should get out on the floor, go and get, get your sexy right out If you know that you better than a new girl daddy out Go ahead and tell them now, you gon' be skipping them out Hey yo, Cece, let me show you how to do a singing bitch greasy You was by Lennox, you're the one on Peachtree I was with Dimitri, and you with the loving hip-hop men DC Fuck, 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 petty niggas, this a bitch motto If I say it, who I'm back, that'll be bitch follow If I'm sippin' in the club, nigga, this guy though I got a big fat ass, big dick follow You guys realized that there was no video Saturday or Sunday. I'm not doing very well on my resolution trying to stay on top of YouTube, but you know, sometimes stuff comes up and sometimes this is um, Saturday and Sunday. I had no time to shoot a video because I was pretty busy, so I'm doing it today. So today is technically Friday. You could tell by my pajamas, probably can't, there's blue on them, so yeah. Um, and yes, I do not have purple pants, and my hair is too long to spike it, and I don't have a purple beanie, I need to ask my mom to make me one. Because any beanies that I have worn in the past on any of my channels, my mom has made. So my mom crochets and she makes beanies for me when I ask her to. Sometimes she doesn't make them right away, she's making me a green one at the moment, because if you guys remember the videos from one, from Thursday, you guys realize that I don't have a green hat. I don't, which is weird. But yeah. Um, in the last chapter of the nerd, I have no freaking clue what happened. Not sure. But today we are doing chapter 39, because I don't remember what happened in chapter 38, so... By the way, if you hear that weird, like, whistle, if there's, like, a whistle noise or, like, a fan blow noise, just know that I have my fan on, not feeling too well, again, for some odd reason. And, um, I have that thing blowing, so just to let you know about what's going on in the background, if you guys hear that noise, it's just the fan. Alright, chapter 39. Niles, PO Niles' point of view, or POV. Seven months. Liam, I'm tired and hungry and pregnant and tired. Wait, I said that already. I whined. And he laughed a bit and sat seated in the recliner in the living room, rubbing my huge stomach. The baby started kicking him a little while ago. He or she never seems to stop doing it. Doing so. 
God, the baby needs to stop moving and kicking me, like, f like for five minutes. I love him or her, but seriously, I sigh. Liam gained up off the couch before picking me up effortlessly, sitting under me in the recliner as I call it into his chest. Just try talking to him or her. It might help. He suggested. I rest a hand on my stomach, rubbing it a bit. Hey, baby, you need to calm down for a little while. I just want to. I just want to relax for a bit. Can you do that for Papa? I asked quietly. The movement slowed down, but didn't stop completely. You try now, I sigh, Liam nodded. The rest of the large hand on my stomach instantly. The movement slowed down even more. Maybe you gotta calm down. Don't you ever sleep? I'm surprised you're so active. You're not even born yet. You silly baby, he cooed and the baby completely stopped. The baby completely stopped. Oh god, it's hot. I don't feel good. But I have to get this done. I smiled before cuddling into Liam's chest. Thank you, I smiled, closing my eyes and wrapping his arms around me. I already fell asleep taking over. Let's get upstairs and put and put you two to bed. He whispered to Mayor and I nod as he lifted me up bridal style, carrying me up the stairs into her room. He laid me down on the mattress. Me grabbing the soft fluffy Delvuit. I don't even know if I do that I don't know what that says. I brought it over my shoulders. Cuddling deeply into it as Liam took off my glasses. He placed them on the nice side before a game in bed next to me. Take a long nap, babe. You need it, he whispered as he spooned me. The feel of Liam's warm body against mine made me even more relaxed, making it easy for me to fall into a peaceful sleep. When I woke up, I felt wide awake and happy as Liam was still laying beside me. I grabbed my glasses, I grabbed my glasses, putting them on and turning in Liam's grip so I was laying on my back. Now was, now was, he was now asleep and the baby wasn't moving all that much. Just an occasional stir. I rested my hand on my stomach, rubbing it beef, rubbing it up and down. I heard an alarm go off next to Liam's side of the bed, feeling him move on the bed. And I giggled as I went. Turn it off, I whined as I continued to smile. You gotta press the button. You gotta press the button to turn it off, you dork. I rolled my eyes as he opened a bit. He moved his arms, being wrapped around me, rubbing in his eyes. I gotta go to work, he groaned, making me pout. I turned to face him, my stomach touching his side. Then I want you to stay here, me and the baby. Me and the baby, I sighed. Him kissing my forehead before sitting up. I know, babe, but when you reach your eight month, I gotta stay home with you. You're gonna, you're gonna be even bigger than you are now. You'll need some help with things. He pointed out, resting a hand on my stomach. I sighed once again, died. I guess you're right. I love you. I looked up at him as he smiled before leaning down and kissing my lips softly. He rested his forehead on mine and brought his hands up to cut my face. Ryan his thumb across my cheekbone. I love you too. He said fondly before heading to the bathroom to take a shower. Now what to do while he's gone? Please one view. When I got to work, the perfume scent and snore was dim, like always. I liked working here. It was a good job. I I just had to fold clothes, show people where they what they were look where what they were looking for is, and greet them when they walk in. Oh my gosh, he works at one of my favorite stores that we don't have anymore. Back where I used to live. Hey guys, welcome to Hollister. I agreed as two girls walked in. They smiled and waved uh, as I went and folded, sh folded the shirt. I had a little walkie-talkie attached to my belt, so... Also, I was fixing up that section and went over to the register. A girl I work with named 
Devin, I guess that can be a girl name, was there and she was hitting someone they were seeing. That guy, she waved to the guy and the girl as they walked uh, with a bag full of clothes. Hey Liam, what's up? She asked, turning to me as she leaned against the counter thingy, crossing her arms as she smiled at me. She was actually Amer she was actually American and she had and she had blonde strained hair, blue eyes, perfect uh, and perfect straight teeth. She was pretty, but I'm only into guys. Nothing much. Not many people are here today, are there? I asked, and she shook her head. Nah, easy day today. She shrugged. I nodded as she looked at the at the computer in front of her, looking at what she'd been sold today. Yeah, not much today, she said, and I say, Good, I'm exhausted, I groaned as I laughed, as she laughed. Why, you always seem so moody and tired, she joked, poking, poking my side, making me squirm and laugh lightly. No reason, school and such, I said. I'm, gonna tell, I'm not going to tell her what's really going on, that my fiancé is pregnant. My boy fiancé. She knows I'm gay, she knows I'm gay, and I'll not that, not that he's pregnant. Oh, I get you. Just wait until college. She sent me a wink, and I groaned once again. She's a bit older than me, so yeah, she's in college. Just go fold some damn clothes. I got this. I sighed, shoving her out of the way of the register as some girls came up. Whatever, Liam, she called. I laughed and rung up the girls' and the girls clothes and put them in a the bag. A couple hours later, I was half asleep and wanted to go home to my Nylar. I just wanted to hold him, but I had to lock up with Devin. Hey Lee, come look at this. I heard Devin yell from the sh the, sh the storage part of the mall, so we had we had some stuff to put in there. What's up, Devin? No way! I trailed off as we as there was a dog laying there, a layer of puppies by her side. How do you think she got in here? Devin asked as she approached the dog slowly. How am I supposed to know? She had a litter of puppies right in the back of the mall. How did anyone notice this? I asked as she shrugged as she patted the yellow lamb's head. I don't know, but we can't leave her here. She's got four four little puppies and no food or water. One of us has to got to take her. She said, looking over at me slowly, my eyes wide. No, 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 no. I can't. I panicked. I'm putting my hands in the living room. Come on, Liam. Besides, you told me how Niall wanted the dog. She pointed out as I shook my hand. I can't, Deb. Me and Niall aren't ready for... Well, this isn't a time for a dog. I trailed off from in my upper arm as the dog started to whimper and lay her head down on the ground. But look at this innocent little face. She cooed, picking up one of the puppies and holding it, holding it to my face. The little guy's nose is protecting mine. I tried to turn away. He's gonna make a mess of a flat and chew up my shoes and pee on the carpet. I can't even have to take another mother and another puppy. I, I, bleh. And I even have to take care of a mother and other puppies. But look at that cute face. Oh my god, I have to take them. I gosh, taking the puppy from her and cradling the little guy in my arms. He made a little whimper sound, so I put him back down by his mommy. There you go, little guy. Come on, Dev, help me load them in the car, I sighed. As she squealed and picked up three of the four puppies, I grabbed the one that had been... I had before the mother surprisingly started to follow us and stuck by my side. I patted her head, her tail wagging. Maybe we can find your owner soon, I said to her as we got to exit the mall. We got to my car after I locked the, unlocked the doors. Opening the trunk, I put the back seat down and she jumped in the back lane down. We set the puppies beside her. She nudged them with her nose, making me smile a bit. Hopefully we can find their owner. I probably... They're probably worried sick. I wish she had some sort of collar on. I mumbled. Devin nodded. Well, yeah, well, good luck. See you Wednesday. See you Wednesday night. Bye. She hugged me before skipping off to her car. I sighed, taking a quick glance at the dog before shining the back. Before I go home and explain why I have five dogs with me tonight, I better go get some dog food. All this note. Sorry for a long ass wait, but here's your chapter, Ashland. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm kind of sad to say, actually, I don't know how far, we're not, we have about maybe like eight more chapters before this book apparently 
And just to let you guys know, this video, this um, book is not finished yet, so I'm not entirely sure what will happen um, if, because I still need to find another book, but I think I already have another book. Actually, yes, I have another book in, um, in mind about doing this, so I'm very, very excited. So, I will see you guys um, tomorrow for chapter 40, and until next time, gay is okay, just ask the GSA. Mwah. Tchau. <tos>